Hey y'all, what's up? Oh, my name is Avery and here are all of the books that I ended up downloading in April. Okay, so the background changed yet again and that is because I am going to be at my parents' house for the uh, foreseeable future for the summertime. And then in the fall, I'll go back to school. So I'm at their house. If you did not watch my uh, vlogs that I posted in December, um, I posted every single day in December and I spent that entire month with my parents. And uh, this is their new house. Technically, this is the apartment attached to the garage. So the apartment that is attached to the garage is all me and my sisters. And when you stay here, we um, have our own space, which is very cool. So I am free to film and read to my heart's content in this apartment without anybody listening to me. I personally don't like filming in front of other people. So um, yeah, anyways, enough about that. We're gonna be talking about all 27 books that I ended up downloading in April. This is quite different than last month. If you would have watched last month's March ebook haul, it was eight minutes long. <laughs> I only downloaded I think like eight or six so this is gonna be quite longer <laughs> um, so I might as well just get started first we're gonna be talking about a rogue in the making by Stacy Reed this is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $2.99 miss Juliana Price is on the run from her dastardly stepfather who wants to control her wealth by marrying her off to his son. Knowing that she only has to escape their clutches for a few weeks until she comes of age, Juliana resolves to hide. The perfect place seems to be the household of Wentworth, the Earl of Rawlings. Wentworth's nose is always buried in a book, and despite meddling suggestions from his mother, he has little care for a lady's companionship or matters of the heart, until one day he notices that stunningly lush dairy hair of his new valet. His suspicion stirs by his valet's boldness and unconventional behavior. Wentworth resolves to an experiment. Find out if his valet is a woman. Wentworth embarks on a campaign of roguish behavior. What will the scholarly Earl do when the lush derriere, plump lips, and sensual smile is so sing singularly, I can't ever say that word, singularly, there you go, attracted to that of a lady's. Then I have Fate's Demand by Alethea Romig. This is still available to purchase for free. Stepping into the city limits, the vibes of New Orleans infiltrates the thoughts and feelings of each unsuspecting individual. Twinkling lights, copious amounts of alcohol, and ghost stories of lore. As Emma waits for a business meeting, those ingredients are there in the heavy air and circulating through her bloodstream until everything changes. Everett Ramsey's is dark, tall, and mysterious. He's more than that. According to him, he's Emma's fate, and he has a demand. Will she run or will she find out what fate's demands has in store? Then I have Bittersweet by Serena Bowen. This is still available to download for free. The last person Griffin Shipley expects to find stuck in a ditch on his Vermont country road is his ex hookup. Five years ago, they shared a couple of steamy nights together, but that was a lifetime ago. At 27, Griff is now the accidental patriarch of his family farm. Even his enormous shoulders feel the strain of supporting his mother, three siblings, and a dotty grandfather. He doesn't have time for the sorority girl who's shown up expecting to buy his harvest at half price. Vermont was never in Audrey Kidler's travel plans. Neither was Griff Shipley, but she needs a second chance with the restaurant conglomerate employing her. Okay, a fifth chance. And no self-righteous lumber sexual farmer will stand in her way. They're adversaries. They want entirely different things from life. Too bad their sexual chemistry is as hot as Audrey's top secret enchilada sauce. And then some. Then I have Golden Curse by M. Lin. This is still available to download for free. The Kingdom of Gale is a dangerous place for those with magic. To be found is a death sentence, forcing magic wielders into the forest to hide from the crown. Etta Bastille has spent years among the trees, training for the day she'll take up the curse of her ancestors, a curse tying her to life that is her greatest enemy the Prince of Gali. Prince Alexander was once a childhood friend, but now Etta must keep her identity a secret as she enters a tournament to become his champion. Her goal is simple, protect the prince, break the curse, kill the prince. What her training never prepared her for? Falling in love. But love is for the weak and Etta can't forget the reason she's there. Her people are counting on her. Then I have The Wicked Prince, A Steamy Enemies to Lovers Romance by Vivian Wood. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. As the crown prince of Denmark, duty and honor come first. 
So when I meet a feisty pink haired girl from the wrong side of the tracks, I keep mum about my royal birth. That way I can have one earth shattering night together with her. Proud, rebellious, gorgeous. Margot is my weakness. Sleeping with her is the best thing I can't ever do again. Until I realize she's a journalist. Reporters like her have made my life a living hell. And when she shows up again in Copenhagen, she's tasked to do a story about me and the future of the royal line. So Margot and I are shackled together. She hates my guts because I ditched her without a word back in New York. And my teeth are set on edge by her endless barrage of questions and snapping photos. I don't want to find her attractive. I want to be repulsed, but... Now that we're forced together, my resolve starts to crumble. Every time our hands brush, every damn time she bites that lip, eventually even my strong will can't overcome temptation. Though it's wrong, even though I might lose everything, I can't resist her. Then I have The Rules of Friends with Benefits by Lauren Blakely. This is still available to download for free. A good girl follows the rules, so does a smart woman. That's why I've resisted my brother's best friend for years. Fine, fine, he might be sexy, charming, confident baseball player who hasn't given me a reason to suspect he's thinking of the same flirty, dirty thoughts as I am. But then he starts showing up by my side at sporting events, at galas, and his eyes are saying all sorts of flirty, dirty things. Like maybe we should cross the friends line and head right to the benefits. Then I have Secrets of Sunbeams, a Christian romance by Valerie Comer. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Eden Andrusk knows she has to have fixed her fence last week. It's too bad her runaway goat makes a less than ideal first impression on her new neighbor, who turns out to be cute, brilliant, and a little uptight. Scholar architect Jacob Real is furious when he returns outside to find a goat eating his presentation. As someone who likes everything in its place, he has little sympathy for a farm animal in the city or its tattooed owner, but there's something about the lovely Eden that captures his attention. What will it take to win over a man whose only pet was a goldfish? And how long can Jacob and Eden go without addressing the goat in the room? Then I have All She Wants, A Christmas Romance by AJ Marchant. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Tilda hates Christmas. Claire loves it. After a bizarre run-in at the emergency room and a set up at the local pub brings them together claire takes on the challenge to put a little festive spirit into tilda's life this is a holiday romance set in small town it's set in a small town in australia and is a light-hearted love story packed with full of cheer a well-trained border collie quirky locals and a comedic twist on the quintessential family moments that make Christmas the most wonderful time of the year. Then I have Holding Out by Leah Rose. This is still available to download for free. Not everything is roses and chocolate in Azara's life until Talon, Hawk's MC president, wants to claim her as his. Zara Eddingway is a 26-year-old secretary. She has a daughter that apparently knows it all and a best friend that could possibly have the mouth of Satan, but she's been through hell and back. Then there's the hunkalicious biker neighbor finally showing interest in her. If only she isn't about to face the next obstacle in her life, the one she ran away from six years ago, her ex-husband. Talon Marcus is the president of the Hawks Motorcycle Club. For two years, he's had his eye on the quiet, reclusive, yet sassy neighbor, Zara. Finally, he has the chance to claim her as his woman, just when her past catches up with her. She'll need not only his protection, but the help from his biker brothers. Now, if only she'd stop fighting him along the way. Then I have Deeper Than Desire, A Friend Still Lover's Romance by Emma Ash. This is still available to download for free. I'm in love with my best friend. In fact, I've been in love with her since forever. Libby is amazing, and when I find she wants me too, I can't kiss her fast enough. She's my everything, which is probably why my father can't stand her. He thinks she's a distraction. I know she's my world. I don't know how far he'll go to destroy her. Then I have Save the Date by Annabeth Albert and Wendy Qualls. This is still available to download for free. Randall Young has one duty as his sister's a man of honor to ensure she has the best wedding ever. That includes an epic bachelorette pub crawl leading, to, leading him to Portland's most popular gay bar and into Hunter Mitchell's well-muscled arms. A one-night stand with a sexy soldier is the perfect way to ditch that pesky V-card and get him in the mood for a weekend of flowers, cake, and nuptials. Hunter wants to blow off some steam before he stands up as his best friend's 
best man. He's already married to his military career, not looking to settle down. He certainly doesn't intend for the one guy he met and okay, got off with in Oregon to be his counterpart at the wedding party or a virgin. Definitely wasn't intending that. Luckily, they have the rest of the weekend for Hunter to show Randall what he's been missing. The more they are thrown together by the wedding, the more Randall and Hunter grow together outside the bedroom, which is dangerous because there's a lot more than 2,500 miles standing between them and a happily ever after. If they want a future beyond their wedding weekend hookup, they must both find the courage to take a chance on love. Then I have Wyvern by Grace Draven. This is a dragon shifter novella, and this is available to purchase for $2.99. Eight years earlier, Earlier, the talented fiddler Elizabeth Weaver gave up the man she loved to care for her ailing grandfather. Now she must risk her life to save her grandfather from a lynching by playing for the wyvern terrorizing the countryside. When she comes face to face with the beast on the haunted cliffs of Maldoza, she is both frightened and fascinated. Something about the creature reminds her of the bard who once stole her heart. Something more than just a shared name. Alaric has never stopped loving the human woman he left behind in a dusty village almost a decade before. When he met her again in Maldoza, wearing old dragon armor and playing her fiddle as if her heart would break, he is overjoyed. Elizabeth doesn't know her erstwhile lover is only an illusion for the wyvern, and Alaric must convince her that her heart of the beast is no longer devoted than the heart of the man. Then I have The Kiss. This is just an anthology of uh, stories by authors. Uh, this is still currently free to download. I downloaded this uh, because I was looking for books, I believe by Colleen Hoover, and Colleen Hoover has a short story in this book. I don't know which one specifically. There are so many authors in this anthology. The only reason why I wanted this was because Colleen Hoover has a, has a short story in this book, and I don't know any of the other authors. <laughs> then I have Where Shadows Lie by Allegra Pes Pescatore. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. The chosen one is dead. Disabled since childhood, his little sister never expected the weight of a crown. Now she might lose it before ever sitting on the throne. Beset by rebels, scheming politicians, and cutthroat bankers, Eleanor must choose between accepting her father's respotic, respotic rule <laughs> or risking everything for her late brother's lofty ideals. Meanwhile, from the rainy streets of Lauren to the scorching dunes of Mandur Desert, the ripples of her actions have inadvertently broken a chain of events five centuries in the making. Ancient forces move in the shadows, calling in debts and striking deals. A monster with a thousand faces fingers his knife, ready to kill, and a pair of fugitives run for their lives, unaware of the danger they carry with them. Next, we have Make Me Crazy by Kennedy Fox. This is still available to download for free. Never trust a man who gets paid to take off his clothes for a living and then uses it as a pickup line to get girls in bed with him. Being an author's assistant comes with its perks when Maverick Kingston barges into my life and becomes my responsibility. He's more than I can handle. I've worked the male cover models like him before and they're all the same. Egotistical know-it-alls who think they're God's gift to women. When we're forced to take a two week road trip together, he makes me crazy in more ways than one and rearranges my thoughts on playing it safe. Then we have Finding London, an emotional and angsty opposites attract novel by Ellie Wade. This is still available to download for free. One soldier has spent his life building walls around his heart and mind. One party girl who isn't used to being told no, one chance at forever. Landon Wright didn't know love until she met him. As rugged as he was gorgeous, Special Forces soldier Loic Ber Berkeley is everything London never knew she wanted. Yet the harder she tries to win him over, the more he pushes back against her. What's the point of commitment when everyone leaves him anyway? Loic Berkeley never wanted love. For him, it was the path of pain and disappointment. Until London, spoiled witty and breathtakingly beautiful, Loic fears she'll be his undoing. As much as he tries to fight it, he finds himself falling for her, but he has to fight it. If he doesn't, they'll both end up paying the price. Two people jaded in the past and desperate to navigate their differences if it means a chance at forever. Then I have The Lion Game by Mickey Miller. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. Living with a sexy as sin roommate in a luxury penthouse should be a fantasy brought to life, right? Not when it's Carter Flynn, a, my teenage crush who hates my guts. When I'm in town for a once in a lifetime dance camp, my living arrangements fall through at the last second. 
I have no other option but to crash on my childhood family friend turned a millionaire athlete. He still hasn't forgiven me for the lie I told him years ago that shattered his heart. But beneath it all, there are shades of the same boy I used to know before his heart turned to stone. I could tell myself all I want that I hate him too. But deep in my heart, I know I've never wanted anyone more in my life. When you're playing the lying game, the most dangerous lies are the lies you tell yourself. Then I have under the cherry blossoms, a fling to forever romance by Emily Rose, Amelie Rose. Uh, this is still available to download for free. She doesn't want a happily ever after. She just wants a happy ending. Cue the online dating app. It may have been as a drunken attempt as a virtual booty call, but when Ben McKinnon sets his sights on the intentionally lovelorn Sky Emery, he puts out all the stops in an attempt to convince her that romantic ideals like soulmates and forevers really do exist. Sky doesn't want to believe a word, but try as she might, she can't help but catch feelings for the sexy reformed ladies man. It's his corny sense of humor that does it, along with his self-confidence and of course, his very dirty mouth. Their relationship blossoms and just as these two lovebirds start believing that they've beaten all the odds, Ben's unresolved past comes as a barrier that sends him reeling and Sky running for the door. The aftermath leaves Sky with two, well, three choices, fighting for her happily ever after, accepting that her relationship with Ben is just a booty call to many, or eat her weight in ice cream. Then I have Called a Reverse Harem Shifter Romance by Callie Mann and Freya Black. This is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. I'm a demon, not a chew toy but these feuding wolves control my every move. I'd dreamed about the arrogant alpha, his bad boy twin, and the playboy, and I wanted them. Unlike my charmed lovers desperate to please me, these three are unswayed by my succubus magic. Could this be my chance at true love? I wish. These sinfully sexy wolves only want me as a weapon in their pack war. When it's them versus my free will, they'll always be enemies. Escape won't be easy, but I can't stay. Even when the playboy shows he has a heart, I have to get home to the only family I care about, even though it means giving up my only shot at being loved for who I really am. Then I have Say You'll Stay by Corinne Michaels. This is still available to download for free. One word, stay. It's all he has to do. Instead, he got on that bus and took my heart with him. That was 17 years ago. I moved on, marriage, kids, white picket fence, everything I ever wanted, but my husband betrayed me and I was left once again. Alone, penniless, and with two boys, I had no choice but to return to Tennessee. He wasn't supposed to be there. I should have been safe. However, my fate had a way of stepping in. This time around, the tables have turned. It's my decision. Second chances do exist, but I don't know if we can repair what's already been broken. Then I have When I Fall in Love by Wendy Lindstrom. This is still available to download for free. A male order bride he doesn't want. A woman he can't resist. The problem is that Nancy Mitchell can't marry the man her father chose for her. Her only escape from the arrangement is to find another husband quick. So she concocts a desperate plan and agrees to become a male order bride. When a drastic change in circumstances dumps her into the arms of Hal Grayson, a handsome grieving man who hates her family, she is forced to rethink her hasty made, hastily made plan. Can her fierce resolve and inner strength help him piece his world together again, even when her own begins to unravel? Then I have a mating season by Teresa Hisong, this is still available to download for free. Drake Morgan has kept his family's secret from the humans for eternity, having no desire to put their existence out in the open like the other shifter kind. He lives a solitary, li solitary life with his two brothers hidden on his farm deep in the backwoods of northern Mississippi. Every spring, their bears call to prepare their home for the arrival of a mating season. The search for their mates begins and Drake has to rethink his disgust of humans when one of their females show up on his land, sent of his destined mate. Morgan's bear demands to keep her for himself, but he knows that she'll never accept his true nature. Teresa Ward moved to this little town to hide from her abusive ex, taking two jobs to pay rent and put food on her the table. Her position at the local parts store sends her into the heart of the country to make one simple delivery to the local farmer, Drake Morgan. Upon arrival, she is thrown into the world of the paranormal after one touch from the bear shifter, and she finds out his true nature. Mating season has arrived, and Drake is prepared to fight for the woman who is fated to be his bride. 
When his mate's ex comes lurking around his sacred property, Drake will stop at nothing t until his female is safe, even if it means killing a human. Not that he cares for them anyway. Then I have An Affair in Winter by Jess Michaels. That's still available to download for free. Widow Rosalind Wilde is on her way to her beloved sister's wedding when an unexpected storm waylays her in an overcrowded inn. There she meets a tempting stranger who sweeps her into a night of unforgettable passion. Grayson Danford never expected a night with the irresistible Miss Wilde, but she has a welcome distraction from the unpleasant duty of breaking up his brother's impending nuptials. He is shocked when he discovers his passionate lover is none other than the sister of his brother's intended. Now Rosalind and Grey will butt heads. Even as their simmering desire for each other threatens to boil over, who will win and who might lose it all? Then I have Too Good to Be True. Uh, by Lauren Blakely. This is still available to download for free. She's wary of love. He's been burned. But when a matchmaker connects these two jaded New York New Yorkers, sparks fly and chemistry crackles from the first date. Can this kind of insta connection be the real thing? Or is it too good to be true? Then I have Sanctum by Sienna Valentine. This is available to download for free still. Jace. This MC took me in when no one else would. It was the only real family I've ever known. Her asking me to leave was bull. But then disappearing without even saying goodbye was so much worse. I was done with Maggie then. I never wanted to see her face again. Five years, five years of anger, pain, and regret. Five years to move on and forget. And five seconds to get sucked back in. Maggie, I have no right coming back here. No right asking for help. Not the way I left everything. The way I left Jace. But what choice do I have? I'm dead if I don't. I've made so many bad choices in my life. Caused so much pain. Maybe I deserve what's coming for me. What? right do i have putting jace my father and the whole mc in danger just to help me the mc is jace's sanctum and i may not deserve it but i'm praying that it now can become mine then i have love redesigned by jenny proctor this is available off of kindle unlimited or you could purchase it for oh no it's still free never mind <laughs> it's still free to download <laughs> going home to her twin brother's house in charleston with her tail between her legs is the last thing Danny wants to do. But when she walks out of her fashion house dream job, she doesn't exactly have a choice. Living in New York City is anything but free. But going back to Charleston, Alex is in Charleston and facing down her ex, her ex who just so happens to be the stepson of her former boss. Even her love for Southern humidity and shrimp and grits can't make that confrontation worth it. There's just so much that could go wrong. Even scarier, Danny hasn't forgotten that when they were together, everything felt so right. Despite the reservations, Alex and Danny find plenty of ways to spend time together. A wedding dress heist? Why not? As they unravel the real reasons why Alex left New York and Danny, will they be able to rediscover the happily ever after they always hoped for? And the last book that I have to talk about is Not Like a Lady by Judith Lynn. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited. Oh, and it's still free to download. Letty's lost everything but one friend and her horse. She desperately needs to convince the fierce baronet to buy any horse but her. Now she's causing her own problems because she cannot stop touching a man she's been prepared to hate. The only way Sir Michael Grantley knows how to be the baronet of Roseford is to do what his father did, but he's not his father. And the salty ex-sailor who lost half a leg at the war and has a far worse temper than his father ever did. Struggling to fill his father's role, he's desperate to get outdoors again. But for that, he needs a biddable horse he can ride. He's not prepared for the horse to come with a woman who wants her own life and who decides that the key feature of her future is helping him ride again. Letty has never been anything even close to a lady. Sir Michael imagines that the Lady of Roseford Manor would be like his mother, calm and elegant. Neither of them can resist the only person they ought to refuse. So there you have it. Those are all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading in April. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to or if you want to read any of them now. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.